What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're giving a situation report on Tarkov along with my expectations for it and how it's going to shape the channel going forward. At the moment, I think the only real expectation that I can cling on to with Tarkov is a New Year's patch, which has always been a wipe. Whether it happens before or after New Year's right now is in question, but they usually find a way to do it in December, and since that is now just a month away, I do not expect there to be any new content patches between now and then. Is it possible? Sure, but I don't expect it. So to be clear, the only thing that I am now expecting is a patch of some kind to pop up around New Year's. When it comes to the content in this New Year's patch, I can't say with any confidence at this point that it will include Lightkeeper or Streets. I think it's very possible that either or both make it into the patch, but there just simply isn't enough information for me to go off of to be confident in either. Lightkeeper and Streets were both being pushed for fall of this year, if not sooner, where I believed it at the time both could be done, but now I'm just not confident anymore. Also, Arena was not expected for this year either, but some people thought the push for a closed testing with it could mean that it comes this year, which at this rate, I'd say probably not. So at this point for all three of these with Lightkeeper Streets and Arena, I would say it's more of a pleasant surprise if they show up rather than an expectation from me at this point. And this is specifically for this New Year's patch. And it sucks to say, but I also want to be clear at this point, I actually do think it's possible we don't even get a New Year's patch because we're clearly in different times now and a lot has changed over the course of the year. So it actually is possible in my mind that we just don't get anything because there really isn't anything to say otherwise. Now, do I actually think that's going to happen? No, but I have to be clear and give all sides of the story these days. I think that they'll find a way to at least get some bug fixes and optimizations together along with maybe a couple guns and some gear, maybe something else, and call that a day for the new wipe. In that case, it actually wouldn't be the end of the world if we had some time to get some gear and some money for Streets and Lightkeeper if they genuinely actually needed just a couple more months to finish them. Any expectations right now are complete shots in the dark though. If none of these show up, that obviously won't be great and it also means we'll need to wait even longer where we're not getting much information at all. So I would like to keep new content coming for this channel in the most appropriate ways. I believe those ways include Call of Duty DMZ mode, Dead Drop, and Road to Vostok. Dead Drop is shaping up to be a high-speed competitive take on the extraction looter shooter gameplay and I have access to their builds as well as now devs who said that they would be open to interviews going forward. So because I think a lot of you will end up liking this game and due to its similarities to Tarkov, I will be covering it. Now sort of on the other side of the spectrum here, we have Road to Vostok, which is a single player game, but it's a realistic stalker basically with its own quirks. It very much reads out like BSG have described their plans for Russia 2028. So between stalker and Russia 2028, I think a lot of you will like it, so I will cover it. So I'm not just randomly picking a survival game here. If you guys were in tune for Russia 2028, I think you're also going to like Road to Vostok. Then last but not least, we have DMZ, which if all of these leaks are to be believed will absolutely no questions asked be the AAA representation of Escape from Tarkov. Just fact. Down to even the newest of leaks where we have the looting specifics here. So if these leaks are true and if none of this was scrapped because some of them could be for earlier development, then no kidding, the only things DMZ will be missing feature-wise is a scav mode, advanced medical, the need for food and water, and possibly the hideout crafting. But from what we've seen, we think there is at least a hideout, very much like a thing that happens in the campaign, which I won't spoil anything here, but those who have played the campaign know about a secret place you can go with lots of gear. Since my last video on DMZ leaks, we have had the multiplayer release for Call of Duty with Spec Ops and more leaks that have pointed to a PMC Karma system that rewards you for teaming up with other players in raid, a form of more advanced medical where you're required to take pills of some kind, use bandages over medkits specifically, and a few more things here and there. There's also been leaks around a flea market type system for selling and bartering items with players and NPCs. The items in particular have also just leaked with a list that should look pretty familiar to you guys. So with just how close DMZ is to Tarkov, I'd be really bad at this if I didn't cover it. It would be like if I made my name Nice Guy Pizza and only covered Deep Dish but not Bar Pizza or Flatbread or any of the other types. Especially when there's a lull in Deep Dish Pizza news if you catch my drift. So going forward, I am already behind in talking about Road to Vostok. I need to get on top of that. Dead Drop has a new snapshot, which is how they reveal what they're doing with the game, which involves some gameplay that I'm going to be able to take part in coming next week and DMZ releases on the 16th where we are supposed to be getting a lot more info from the devs about it before then so there's plenty to do but remember the name here Nice Guy Tarkov isn't going anywhere if anything happens with Tarkov it will be front and center and you guys will be the first to hear about it period but that's going to do it for now guys if you like this video there is a button for that subscribe for more like it or jump into the comments and tell me why pineapple does not belong on pizza for the latest Tarkov stuff check this out for the latest DMZ 
stuff, check this out. Follow me on Twitter or join the Discord. Links below. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. See you guys.